Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I'm a self-employed mama of four. My husband and I are on a journey to become debt-free using a zero-based budget and the cash stuffing method because our biggest goal is to invest wisely and give generously. So if you're interested in learning more, stay tuned. Well, hey you guys. So today's video is going to be a little bit different than what I normally do because I've been getting a lot of requests to kind of walk through the process of what I do before I actually cash stuff. And I know I have a couple videos about how to make a zero-based budget and walking you through my A5 budget binder, but I thought it would be cool to just kind of walk you through my actual numbers and then I'll be uploading my cash stuffing video right after so you can kind of see the process from like start to finish. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna try a few things with different camera angles so that you guys can actually see what I'm writing. Um, but yeah, so we're just gonna kind of hop right into it. So this is, my a5 budget binder and these binders will be available in my shop in july so as soon as i get them in i just want to double check the quality before i actually put them up on my site so i'm really excited about these and um this one that i'm using was a sample that i had gotten from the supplier and i absolutely love them so the a5 budget binders will come in these three colors so it's kind of like a collection of binders so they're all the same and um it's like this taupe color the white and then the black so the a5 and the a7 will all come in those three different color options so i'm going to kind of just dive right in here i at the beginning of the month do make my zero based budget for everything so my husband and i are self-employed so we're actually we pay ourselves once a month and so i make our budget before the month starts and what we pay ourselves in any given month so for example this month is june so the money that i budgeted for the month of june is actually the money that we made in may um, but then we pay ourselves at the beginning of the month so i make a budget for the entire month and then i actually go through and um, do my cash stuffing process once a week because i like to really just keep a handle on our finances all of this is already pre-budgeted for um, but sometimes during the month i do switch some things around just with my categories and the amounts that i'm putting in them based off of our needs and you know what we've spent money on and what we've got coming up so i'm going to start with my sinking funds right here and i um have all my categories listed out i've had questions about how to like type them out on here i don't know <laughs> i do it on canva because that's um where i created these pages in the first place and so i just went through and did my own categories um typed them up because it does take a while to write them out and I always have orders that I'm working on, so anything I can do to make my life more intentional, that's what I do. So, okay, I have my pen and I already have my categories listed out. And so I've actually already done this for this month. This is something I only do once a month is planning out my sinking funds because for the most part, a lot of these sinking funds get the same amount. And so you're gonna get to kind of see the process of what you can do if you're bi-weekly or paid weekly or paid monthly. And so I do have my notes on the side just to make this video not be like three and a half hours long. I already kind of figured out everything that I wanted to do for this. So I did try to zoom in just a bit here. So hopefully you can see that better. If I zoom in too far, it's not good quality because I'm using my iPhone. So for groceries this month, for the month of June, we're budgeting $100. And that's not for our regular grocery budget. That is just for like things that we need to run out and grab really quick because I do order most of my groceries online. So something that I actually do that's a little bit different, this column right here can be used for like how much you planned and then what your balance is at the end of the month in that specific envelope. I'm not that detail oriented. So I actually don't go through and count every single envelope at the end of the month. I just like keep an eye on how much money I have in each envelope. And so I actually use this column because I paid like, well, we pay ourselves once a month, but I cash stuff once a week. So I actually in here write down how much per week I'm gonna be cash stuffing. So that's what I personally use this column for. Um, so clothing, we're budgeting $200 this month. And so $50 will go in my envelope each week. Household, we're budgeting 140. So that means that there is $35 going into the envelope each week. Personal hygiene is 100. So I'm just basically dividing all of these by four. Baby needs, 40. And I'm actually just gonna go through and like write these in 
how much we're budgeting for each of these categories. Medical is getting 80. Medical is for like, I don't know, prescriptions or um, any type of medicine that we might need. Pet care is getting 120. Sam's Club is getting 80. And this is for the whole month. And then miscellaneous is getting 40. So then I do go through and I'm just gonna divide these by four. So each week I'd stuff 10. For your medical, I'm gonna stuff 20 each week. Vehicle maintenance will get 50. Pet care gets 30. Sam's Club gets 20. And miscellaneous gets 10. So I do have some that won't divide perfectly by four because you're probably thinking, well, what do you do if you're gonna you know, stuff 50 or you budgeted for $50. And I'm gonna show you that because in this next column, so I kind of have these broken up. So these are my high priority sinking funds. These are my holiday sinking funds. And so for example, um, Valentine's Day, well, this is a bad example. Valentine's Day is getting 20 this month. So basically $5 each week. Easter though is only getting $10. And so what I do is I just decide how much each week I'm gonna stuff. And this is how I write it. So nothing weeks one and two, week three, I'm gonna stuff five and week four, I'm gonna stuff five for $10 total for Easter. And then for 4th of July, and you can do that however you want to, you could stuff it in the first two weeks or whatever. 4th of July is getting $80 because it's coming up. So we're stuffing $20 a week in there. Halloween is getting 40. Thanksgiving is getting 20. Black Friday is getting 40. Christmas is getting 200. New Year's Eve is getting 10. Birthday parties. I'm working hard to bulk this one up because all of our birthday parties are in the fall and winter. Back to school is getting 200. And then spring, summer, fall, and winter. I need to look those up in a different place because those are new envelopes. Seasonal decor is getting 40. So spring is getting 20. Um, summer is getting, okay, I think this is right, 80. And then the other two are getting 20. And this is for the entire month. This isn't for one single cash stuffing. So again, I'm just gonna go through here and divide these. Okay, so again, another one, New Year's Eve is $10. And so for this one, I didn't need to write that there, but we're doing five, five, zero, and zero. Um, and I do that just to kind of like even it out. So like, for example, Easter, I did, I'm not stuffing it the first two weeks, but I'm stuffing it weeks three and four. And then this, this is opposite just to kind of even out the amount of cash. Birthday parties is getting $25 for each cash stuffing. Back to school is getting 50. Spring is getting five. Summer is getting 20. Winter and fall are both getting five. And then seasonal decor gets 10. Okay, so then, since I'm right-handed, I usually take this out because it's hard for me to write with this in the way. Okay, so then the last few categories, these are my low priority sinking funds. I should say our because it's both me and my husband's. We share everything, we share our income and the envelopes and all the things because we're a team and we work better that way. Cash, 400 is what we budget, but I only stuff that the very first week of the month. Home renovations is getting 400. Kids is getting 80. Family fun is getting 80. Antonio gets 40. Hockey is getting 160. Hockey rink is getting 100. And I need to actually talk to my husband and just see how much we're actually gonna need to save up. I know it's spendy, but I don't know how spendy. Nails gets $80 a month. I usually go every three weeks. And so it works out perfectly to just basically do $20 a week. Gifts is getting 100. Date night is also getting 100. Organizing is getting 40. Memberships is getting 40. Seasonal lawn care is getting 200. Tax prep is another new envelope and that one is going to be getting $60. We pay about a about $600 to get our taxes done. Um, our personal taxes and then our business taxes are separate. Wedding ring is 40. And then 10th anniversary is getting 200 and make sure you tune into my cash stuffing video because I have an update on 
our 10th anniversary trip. I'm really excited about it. Travel's getting 20. So now I'm just gonna go through and divide these by four the best that I can. And I usually cash stuff so that it works out this way, but you can get creative if you're somebody who's cash stuffing weekly, but you're not paid weekly. I'm just gonna go like this because that's just at the beginning of the month. 100 for home reno, 20. So then uh, I'm gonna put this back in here. So now that we have all of that figured out for our sinking funds, I am going to write that down on my cash planning page. So this is new to the shop. It's not up yet, but I did just get my shipment in for these and they are freaking gorgeous. So these were just a sample because you know me, you gotta check quality first before I invest in something and they are amazing. So I can't remember, I think it's 50 sheets that are in the notepad but i've been loving these a lot of you guys asked for more of the cash planning pages especially if you have a bunch of sinking funds or if you're paid more often so i figured a notepad would just be the easiest way and i've honestly just been keeping this like in this binder with everything so it's perfect so i'm gonna really quick go through and write down all of the categories here for um, my sinking funds and then i will come back and we can do this part together Okay, so what I did was I went through and I wrote down all of my sinking funds and then all of the amounts from this column right here. So what I had actually planned to cash stuff this week. And then I also did add our 100 envelope challenge on there because this is written down in a separate place, but I still wanted to make sure I could pull cash out for that. So don't forget to add in your savings challenges when you're cash stuffing. I have definitely done that before. So what I'm going to do now is just decide on which denominations I want to pull. So for groceries, we budgeted 25. So I'm going to do a $20 bill and a $5 bill for clothing is 50. So I'm going to do a $50 bill. Household is going to be a 20, a 10 and a five to equal 35. I'm going to do 25 for personal hygiene, $10 for baby needs, $10 for co-pays uh medical we're gonna do a 20 dollars bill vehicle maintenance will get a 50 pet care gets a 20 and a 10 sam's club gets a 20 and then miscellaneous gets 10. valentine's day we're gonna do a five and then a five for easter we'll do a 20 dollars bill for fourth of july halloween is gonna get a 10 thanksgiving gets five black friday gets a 10 christmas gets a 50 Birthday parties gets 25, $50 bill for back to school. Spring gets five, summer gets 20, fall and winter gets five, and then seasonal decor gets a 10. And then for page number two, I'm actually just gonna take this off because that's what I normally do anyway. So then for page number two, eating out, I don't know why I did this, but I'm looking at the sheet I already made because I already have the cash from when I did this. Um, so eating out, I did a 50, which I normally do two 20s and a 10, but we're just gonna go with it. Drinks gets a 50. Home reno gets a 100. Kids, 20. Family fun. I think I just did these like all as condensed as I could because I just did a cash condensing. Um, so let's see here, what are we, where are we at? Family fun gets a 20. Antonio gets a 10. Hockey rink gets two 20s. I think there's somebody at my door, but I don't think there is. I wonder if it's the wind. I'm by myself. My husband took the kids out of the house so I could film. It's actually Saturday, which I normally film on Wednesdays, but the kids are home this summer, so it's been making it kind of hard. So for the 100 envelope challenge, I, I condense these as much as I possibly can. So 75 is going to get a 50, a 20, and a 5, and then... 25 gets a 20 and a 5, 50 gets 50, 5. I don't really do ones for this challenge, so I just always round it up. So there we go. So now that I have my denominations planned, I'm going to go through and count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 5 dollar bills. For tens, one. 
So next I'm gonna take my teller slip and these also come in a digital download and this comes in a digital download as well, but um, these are like sticky notes um, for the teller slips. So, okay, quantities. So now we're gonna go to this page here and just add in our quantities. So for our fives, I don't do ones. I don't take ones out of the bank. Um, 19 fives. And then we had 16 tens. 19 twenties. Nine fifties and one 100. Then that what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to go through and do the math on these. And since I've already done it, I know what it is, but I do have to use my calculator every time. It never fails. So 450 in 50s. And then for the 20s, it's 380 total. And then 160. And then 95. So the total at the very end is 1,185. And I always cross check my numbers too. So this is what I came up with from my cash planning sheet. And so the total is 1,185. And then I'll come back here and add up these numbers. So, um, and I've already done that here. So 475 plus 510. So that is, um, why doesn't that seem right? <laughs> I'm gonna look at my other sheet quick. I can't use my calculator because I'm recording on my phone. But anyway, so that's what I came up with. I don't remember like where the other 200 must have come from, but the purpose of this video <laughs> is to show you my process. And my process is not always perfect. I mess up all the time. And I just figure it out. At the end of the day, your money is your money. And I'm just really proud of myself for putting in this much effort to begin with because I used to just swipe my card and pray to God I had enough money in my account. And now I'm actually managing my finances alongside of my husband and we are crushing goals. And that's really all that matters at the end of the day. So I know that what I did the first time was correct, even though the numbers didn't completely add up in this video. I started by making a budget. That's number one, make a budget. Then number two, you're going to write in all of what you've planned for your sinking funds. And then you're going to transfer that onto your cash planning page to determine what denominations you're going to take out and then transfer that onto your teller slip. And then this is what you'll take to the bank to give to the bank teller. And then she will give you all the cash. So I've counted this three times and what I have right here is 1,185. So I'm about to do my cash stuffing video and we'll figure out if I was right the first time or if I was right the second time. So make sure you tune in for this week's cash stuffing because it's going to be a nail biter. We're going to figure out if I was right the first time or the second time or none of the times because that happens too. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful. I just really wanted to show you guys my process because I know I talk about it a lot. Um, these all tear off and set aside when I do my cash stuffing video so that I can look at my denominations when I'm cash stuffing. But I just wanted you guys to see the process start to finish and how you can use these tools to really maximize what you're doing with your money and enjoy cash stuffing because it really is fun once you get the hang of it. So I hope you guys had fun with me and I cannot wait to see you in my next video.